my beloved, your time of barrenness is behind you. Ahead lies a season of abundant joy and blessings. Embrace these words with faith and stand firm, for many tasks await you. My joy overflows when I see your fervor and assurance. Each day, your trust in my presence warms my heart and fills me with boundless love. Your humble heart, evidenced by each prayerful kneel, moves me deeply. You stand resilient like a mighty warrior, yet your spirit is calm and patient, treating all with respect and kindness. Your ways inspire many. Your choices, victories, blessings, and the manner in which you share them with others bring healing and support. My spirit empowers you. In your hands, you wield the sword of the spirit. In your heart, courage. On your lips, the divine words that break every chain. Remember, it is not by your strength alone, but by my grace that you succeed. Stay humble, for I give no title or rank without purpose. Those who came before you bearing this message sought neither acclaim nor worldly gain, yet through them my power was made manifest. I yearn to achieve remarkable deeds within your life and amidst your family, yet I urge you to dress your heart in humility and trust. Shun the pursuit of popularity and hollow acclaim of worldly titles. Through your hands, I intend to work miracles unseen before. The rains that restore your land are already descending. Streams of living water are revitalizing your field, breathing new life into your dreams. Be steadfast and courageous, my child. You are on the cusp of witnessing the heavens opening their doors and windows over you. Cherish this divine revelation deep within your soul. My love for you is boundless. You know the joy I find in our communion, and your heart swells with gladness each time you declare your love for me. My love is proven. Words of healing have flowed from my lips, shielding you from peril and sickness, rescuing you from the brink of death. I am the God of strength the fulfiller of promises. I uplift the downtrodden, fortify the weak, and bring smiles to sorrowful hearts. I fling wide the gates of heaven for those who devote themselves wholly to me, loving me with all their heart and mind. These are my children, pledged to dwell in my presence, to walk this path steadfastly, unwavering, looking neither to the left nor the right. You are my beloved daughter, my cherished son, and my words echo in your thoughts, etched upon your heart. You shall not forget these words. They harbor the strength to surmount every conflict, to defeat every foe, to resist every temptation. My heart swells with joy, observing how earnestly you've embraced your relationship with me, how fearlessly you're growing. I'm delighted, and I'm set to expand your spiritual vision, allowing you to perceive the breadth of blessed lands I intend to bestow upon you. Be aware there's a battle for your life within the spiritual realm. The enemy schemes against you and your family, but their efforts are in vain. They do not possess the strength to harm you, as the power of my blood shields and protects you. Safeguard your paths, shield your eyes, and utter only words of kindness. Do not be provoked nor react impulsively to challenges. No matter what unfolds, you and your family rest securely in my care. Should adversity arise, choose not to react with anger or escalation. Instead, respond with gentleness and peace. My peace will dominate your home. You will witness miracles and receive unexpected blessings and joys. Your faith will deepen and you and your family will be enveloped in immense joy. Once again, I will manifest my love for you, ensuring my presence remains ever with you. I'm accelerating time for you to grasp your blessings and to receive the answers you've long awaited. 
All that surrounds you is designed for your benefit. Ready your heart and mind. Open your home's doors wide and allow my presence to fill and reside within your dwelling. Just as you hear me today, hear this promise. Your life will transform. I know what you need even before you realize it yourself. But I ask for clarity in your prayers. Understand your needs, your desires, your dreams. Be sure of what you ask from me. Know precisely what you want and where you aim to go. If you seek triumph, it comes at a cost. True faith, fervent prayer, dedicated work, and significant personal sacrifice. I will bestow upon you success that endures eternally for you and your family. I will never grant you anything that would bring sorrow or distance you from me. I do not wish for your family to suffer from your absence. My desire is for you to shine as a beacon of light in the world, yet ensure that when you return home, you bring only light, not darkness. Remember those you love. Do not let the pressures of life consume you or jeopardize your health. I always desire the best for you, genuine peace, true faith, tranquility in your life free from material concerns. The riches of this world are temporary. You arrived empty-handed and you will leave in the same way. However, the love and care you plant in those who love you, the faith you share, the assistance you offer to those in need, and your steadfast faithfulness. These are the deeds that will yield true spiritual rewards. This is my promise to you. Come, my beloved daughter, my beloved son. You have been faithful in the small things, and thus I have bestowed upon you a great blessing. One day you will receive a crown upon your head. I will place it there myself. I hold the power to change times and seasons, to transform hearts. I am arranging all things so that you may revel in my blessings and leave your suffering behind. I stand at the door calling. Open to me now. I desire to dwell in your home, to fill every member of your family with my wonderful peace. Very soon, you will witness my power manifested over you and your family. A season of peace, healing, and blessings is on the horizon. I have seen your faith. I hear your prayers. Your attitude pleases me. The sincerity of your heart moves me. Your faith is vibrant. You diligently seek my presence each day. Your spiritual life is of utmost importance to you. You do not neglect me as others do who visit only sporadically and do not commit their paths or plans to me. I urge you to teach your family and all those you love to emulate your example, your positive demeanor. Let them continue to see the fruits of your faith as it grows and strengthens along with your spirit, mind, and soul. Keep your eyes open for a significant opportunity is approaching. Many turn away from the blessings I send because they feel unworthy. Along your journey, you will encounter many who suffer and weep, unable to grasp that someone truly loves them, forgives them, and promises a future free from pain and despair. If only they could shed their disbelief and allow me the chance to shower my love upon their lives. But you, you will bear abundant fruit like the sturdy tree you are. When you grow strong enough and your arms are robust enough, to hold the blessings, I will bestow great miracles for you and your family. Remember, it is not by your strength, but by mine. It is my power that will bring about the miracles you wish to see in your family, your finances, your health, and your life. You must be courageous and diligent. I do not want you to become disheartened, trying to change with your own efforts what is humanly impossible. For me, as you well know, everything is possible. I will act in my timing and according to my will. 
many things that you urgently need and are praying for, I will grant them. I assure you that these things will come to pass, but you must be patient and wait. Just as a seed falls to the ground and later sprouts, grows and blooms into a beautiful majestic flower, so too will many of the seeds you have planted flourish. They will transform into wonderful miracles that will bolster your faith and leave you astounded. I ask for your patience. I ask you to wait and to obey me. Do not fear. Do not grow weary. Continue steadfastly, but also rest in me and await the miraculous works I will perform in your life. When the time arrives, you will indeed see it. As the day draws near, you will be aware. You will sense my presence. Initially, you will notice subtle shifts, then quite unexpectedly, at the moment you least anticipate, you will be taken by surprise. Joy will burst forth from your lips. Laughter will fill your mouth, and within you, a peace, a supernatural joy will swell, saturating your being. There, right before your eyes, in a remarkable way, the miracle you have awaited will unfold your health restored, your finances transformed, a change in the hearts of those you love. Finally, you will receive what you have needed and longed for. My beloved child, nourish yourself with my word. Therein lies your strength and your hope. Seek me daily. Dedicate moments alone with me in your room, in the quiet, for praying is also persevering. Prayer is warfare a battle, a demanding task for those who seek miracles in their lives and for the lives of those they cherish. You must continue to pray. Pray. I will envelop you with my presence, embrace you tenderly, and continue to manifest my love. Remember my words well. I will come and perform that great miracle for you. Patiently wait. I am here to help you rise above your troubles to conquer discouragement, to focus on the future, and to persist without losing your faith so that you may triumph and prosper. Trust in me, for I am your heavenly Father. Feel free to speak with me and share your needs, for I also desire for you to see and feel me as a close friend. I wish to extend my hand to you and assure you that I am always attentive always listening. Sit down to talk to me, express your thoughts, the plans you harbor in your heart, and your emotions with your own words. Conversing with me is beneficial. It heals your soul and calms your mind. Speaking out what you feel activates your faith, and from there, miracles begin to unfold. Today is the day for you to share everything you wish to tell me but also to listen as I speak to you. I'm not here to judge. I'm not scolding you or reminding you of past failures. Listen, my beloved daughter, my beloved son, hear what my spirit gently whispers to your ear. I love you deeply, and each morning, I eagerly wait for you to wake and tell me with your thoughts that you need me and love me. Your words of love rise like the morning sun to my throne, filling your life, your family, and your home with my protective love. Remember, no matter what troubles you face, I am here to help you. I won't withhold any good thing from you. Whatever you ask that will bless you, I will quickly answer and send it wrapped in my love. Keep this in your heart. I, your God, am stronger than all your problems and pains. Cast away fear and tackle your challenges with bravery. I know you're facing tough times, and I've heard you when you've cried out, quietly telling me you're tired and losing the will to go on. But I urge you to listen carefully and make that life-changing decision. Choose to seek me, to trust in me, and to stand strong in your decisions. Follow me and obey me. It's not too hard and it won't weigh you down. I promise 
that obeying me will bring you peace. Your faith will yield patience and calm if you cling to my words and live out my commandments. No one can put you to shame. Your enemies will turn back and flee when they see how I've sheltered you. They'll stop speaking ill of you and spreading lies. My presence will guard you from deceivers day and night. Therefore, I urge you to cast all doubt from your mind and concentrate on following my commandments. My word will strengthen your soul and heal your body. Bid farewell to stress, tension, nervousness, and all your fears. My power is sufficient. My love for you is boundless. In this new phase of your life, you will be liberated from all those emotions that once tormented you, and nothing will drag you down into depression. It fills me with immense joy to know how your life will abound in peace and happiness. I love you, and through this, you can be assured of my presence. I have come today to speak to you and touch your heart at a time when you need me most. My love for you is unconditional, genuine, and everlasting. Nothing can separate you from the great love I have for you, not your sins, nor your mistakes. Even when you were distant from me, my loving hand reached out to save you from the bonds that stole your will to live. When you call on me, I'm here. When you cry out in desperation, I open the doors of my heart to you. When I see you kneel, my eyes regard you with tenderness. My grace envelops you. Thus I want you to trust in my promises and believe that everything I do is for your benefit. I am always with you. This knowledge should bring you great joy. You are privileged. While others may dwell in distress, you have peace and serenity. If life presents challenges, I will give you the strength to overcome them. I will clear paths, open doors, and soften hearts. I will place incredible opportunities before you. You will travel to distant lands, visit many nations, and spread my love across the globe because I have chosen you for this purpose. Come with me, take my hand, follow only me and no one else. I will place in your hands seeds of love and words of healing that you will sow in many. Remember, nothing is impossible for me. The miracles I am performing in your life will astonish you. Tell me that you believe me. I have something very important to share with you, so listen closely now. Do not disregard this message. Embrace every word I am about to give you, and let me know your thoughts on this matter I wish to discuss with you. I am here to assure you that I will not cease to tell you daily how much I love you. I will find sweet and beautiful ways to make you feel enveloped safeguarded and perpetually blessed by this great love I hold for you, my feelings remain steadfast. My covenant of love with you is inscribed in my word, signed with my own blood and sealed by the presence of my Holy Spirit, which lives in your heart like a flame, burning away impurities like a mighty wind, uprooting all painful memories, infusing you with tranquility and tenderness. You will receive a steadfast strength, divine peace that solidifies your footing, aiding you to stand up, to rise again, to advocate for life, to devote more love and time to your family. This great power I offer you is enveloped in eternal love. I came to rescue you and to secure you a wonderful and special place in heaven. You will be with me there one day. But while you tread this earth, I want you to recall these words every night as you close your eyes, especially when they weep. Rest your head on your pillow, set aside your fears, extend your hands, and receive this divine oil that heals both body and soul. You will sleep peacefully, free from disturbances, and in the morning, when you awake, 
you will feel this refreshing spirit instead of worries. I will keep insisting you need to hear every minute how much I love you, appreciate you, and value you. I'm actively working to clear your path and ensure that everything goes smoothly for you. Your family will live in harmony. Your children will grow in wisdom and your household will lack nothing. You will be free from debts and all anguish in your soul will cease. You will hear me, feel me, and I will continue to embrace you with tenderness, sweetly telling you of my eternal, wonderful, supernatural love for you. Tell me that you love me, and if I assure you that everything will be all right, please believe me. Worrying about things you have entrusted to me will only exhaust your strength. You have given me your hand. Let me lead you peacefully to green pastures. I want you to lack nothing and desire to satisfy your soul with divine love and holy tenderness. Do not fear adversities that may come. You will stand firm, and I will be with you, not letting you falter. I understand you have felt weak, which is why I am speaking directly to your heart. I am here with you. Instead of getting caught in confusion and desperation, sit with me and take a moment to rest. Do not fret about the future or be troubled by the state of the world. Focus on what is essential, your family, your spiritual life, nourishing your life with my word, praying, doing good, and showing mercy to those who have offended you. Even if everyone around you trembles with fear at the signs they see, neither you nor your family should fear. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be prepared. While others are consumed with fear, you will witness great miracles. The trumpets are sounding. The time of your liberation is near. But today, pray, believe, strive, live. Do not be afraid of what might come. Trust in my word, for nothing is impossible for me. I love you. Tell me that you love me. It delights me to hear from you. My love heals you, calms you, holds you, guides you, and lifts you up. My presence envelops you, and my Holy Spirit fills you so fully that you are immersed in a river of pure crystalline waters, feeling utterly joyful. It's been a long time since you felt this happy or so protected and loved. You've been through a period of struggle and loneliness, feeling abandoned and forgotten, but that's all behind you now. You will forget it. From today onwards, my promises will always be on your lips. You will speak of them and remember them. If you ever feel alone again, just call out and I will be with you every day. If you feel tired and weighed down by worries, come to me to find the rest your heart needs. Always remember that I am your shepherd. You will want for nothing. I have the perfect provision in my hands so that you will lack nothing. I am your path to salvation. My divine presence eliminates all fear from your life. I'm establishing your roots beside a river of living waters and your fruit will be a blessing for your family and many others. If you are searching for something true and everlasting, if you need someone to truly love you, here I am. On days when you feel like crying without reason, come and find solace in my love. You have no other option. Many will offer you love, but they always want something in return, constantly demanding more from you. They show patience and friendship, promise happiness, but leave you when you have nothing more to give. There is no one in this world who can offer you what I give. Love, peace, healing, steadfast loyalty. Come and receive this blessing now. It's yours, freely given. I'm not selling it. I don't need your money. I want your heart, your faith, your loyalty, and your commitment your unwavering decision to leave behind the past and start a new chapter with me. 
Stretch your faith toward a new future. Wait with confidence. Be patient. Tell me with your own words that you accept my presence. My dear God, I commit to believing in your word with all my heart. I respond to you, receiving your faith. Prepare yourself now for a wonderful downpour of blessings that I will pour out upon you. I come to comfort you. I want to give you the strength you need today. Take some time to seek me with all your soul. You need to rest and recover. You have been through so much and I don't want you to continue feeling sad or open the door to despair. Know that this is not a coincidence. It is true and you will receive these words in your heart as you read them. Give me your hand. Stand up. I will give you the strength to continue in this stage of your life. Your faith must be renewed and maintained. Keep your spiritual life active. Do not let the flame of new joy be extinguished. Do not accept the darkness that seeks to bring down your life. If you want to advance and rise to a better level, you must believe me when I tell you that I love you and want to fill you with my love. Receive it. Do not make excuses. Do not give me the list of your mistakes or hide behind them. I chose you to bless you because in doing so, I chose to love you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not playing with your feelings or offering you empty promises. Open your eyes and see I am placing before you the greatest gift in the universe. My love, my forgiveness, my grace and my salvation. Tell me that you believe me, that you accept me, that you give me your life, and that you open your heart to me. Look around you. Value all the blessings I give you. Take care of them. They are yours. You say you love me, and I know it's true. Then show appreciation for what I do for you. That's how you show your love and your faithfulness. Come and listen to my word every day. Pay close attention to me, hear me, and open your heart to understand and obey me. My will is to love and bless you. You must believe me. My blessing for you does not depend on your own strength or your perfection. It depends on my power and my love. If I want to do great things with you, I will do them. If I want your life to be filled with goodness and mercy, that is how I will bless you. I will provide everything you need and I will give you even more. But in return, I ask for your life and your heart. I know with all your soul that you love me and you will give them to me. Seek me and receive the peace your soul yearns for. Come and cry out to me day and night without tiring, maintaining an attitude of faith and hope. Come to me fully believing that I'm real and I will respond to you. Things might not have turned out as you expected, but you must trust me again with all your soul. I'm arranging things so that blessings will flow to your family and your home. If you think you have lost something material, reflect deeply. Your life is in my hands and I desire your well-being your growth, the firmness of your faith, and your strengthening. I will restore those things to you, but they will be greater and more beautiful than before. Give me your heart now. I want to provide you with the peace that you long for, but you must also find rest in body and soul. Place those worries and thoughts that steal your sleep into my hands. Believe me, your future is not uncertain. I hear you when you cry at night, wondering how you will manage to move forward in the midst of this crisis. Today, I tell you that you will progress through your faith. You have grown much stronger. Your faith is deepened. Align yourself with me. Your faith and my promises are enough for you to walk on water and for miracles to occur in your life. So do not fear anything or anyone. Each morning 
when you wake up, fill yourself with courage and strength. You are very brave. Your faith is sufficient. Today, I place this resplendent sword in your hands. Feel its power. This is my word, in which you have placed so much trust. Use it from today onwards when you have to face difficulties. I will also be with you, fighting by your side. I love you. The destiny I have set for you is one of blessing, victory, and prosperity. You are anxious about the days ahead and unsure of what to do. You feel as though you lack the resources to tackle the upcoming challenges. But here I am, once again, embracing you with my love and easing your anxieties. I know you cannot see me, but I am here, working in your favor with my infinite power. I am creating a spring of living water that will satisfy your soul and provide you with the peace and strength you need. It has never been my will for you to suffer or live in distress. Let the transformative power of my love flood your being and guide you out of all your troubles. Just believe in me and you will see how I calm the fiercest storms in your life. Remember, I am the God of the impossible, the one who brings good into your life and delivers you from evil. I'm the one who crowns you with favor and mercy, your Lord, your provider. Even though you may walk through dark places and valleys shadowed by death, fear no evil, for I am with you. Trust with all your heart, my son. I will strengthen you in weakness, raise you up in adversity, and support you in the storm. Do not fear, for in me you will find strength and the comfort you need. I am your firm rock, your protective shield, and your secure salvation. Trust in my love and in this promise. You will see that with me, by your side, you can traverse the deepest valleys and scale the highest mountains. Please listen to my voice and cling to this promise. Shut out the voice of the enemy. Do not heed his lies. He seeks to lead you into a corridor of fear, to confuse you so that you do not seek my light. He wants you to succumb to your fears and fall into darkness. Be strong and courageous. Recall my words when I declared you are my son, one of my victorious and brave warriors. I will cause springs of living water to burst forth from within you, even in dry lands, springs that will quench your thirst and shield you from the sun as you cross the desert, beloved son. Dismiss doubts, proclaim my word to receive healing, provision, and protection. Remember, there are many blessings in heaven that I long to bestow upon you. You only need to believe, and everything you ask of me will be granted to you. Remember that nothing is impossible for me. So do not fear the evil one when he tries to stop you with false walls of iron. Do not be afraid or give up when you face his deceptions. Let your gaze not show fear. Stand firm in your faith and advance with the certainty that I am by your side. Behold, I give you authority to tear down strongholds and thwart every work of evil that rises against you, my son. This evening, close your eyes and let me envelop you in my arms of love. Listen to my voice telling you that I love you, that you can do all things through Christ, who strengthens you, and that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Do not heed the world's comments or Satan's lies. Believe in my word. Believe in my promises. You will see how your sadness turns into joy, your tears into laughter, and your lack into a full and abundant life. Believe, my son, believe with all your heart, and you will see how everything I tell you today becomes a reality. It's time for you to stop belittling yourself and feeling guilty for sins I have already forgiven. I am a God of mercy, love, and forgiveness. 
You don't have to live tied to the past. Stop tormenting yourself. Don't let them make you feel worthless or that there is no opportunity for you. I'm the one who died for you. I shed my blood so that you may now live in forgiveness and with your head held high. You are not what people say you are. You are what I say you are through my word. You are my son, my warrior, my most precious treasure. Do not be influenced by those voices that condemn you and seek the worst for you. You were created to win battles and conquer victories. I chose you to be blessed and live a life of abundance, my son. Today, I give you victory over every problem that afflicts your life, over every disease, over every poverty and scarcity. I give you power and authority to undo every work of evil. So rise up and shine, rise up and shine with the light of my love. Remember that you are my perfect creation, formed with love and care in every detail. You are a winner, a conqueror, an heir of my eternal kingdom. So walk with your head held high, knowing that I am with you and that your destiny is secure in my hands. Listen, my son, to your father's teachings. Embrace these proverbs to grow wiser. Pay close attention and strive to understand. I offer you valuable knowledge, so never abandon my teachings. I too was once a son, tenderly loved by my mother and taught by my father. He said to me, grasp my words with all your heart, follow my commands and you will have a fulfilling life. Seek wisdom and understanding above all. Do not forget or turn away from these words. If you cherish wisdom, she will protect and watch over you. Wisdom is paramount, so pursue it even if it costs you everything. Honor her and she will elevate you. Embrace her and she will bring you honor. She will adorn your head with grace and bestow a glorious crown upon you. Listen to me, my son. Accept my words and you will enjoy a long life. I guide you on the path of wisdom and lead you on straight roads. Your journey will be smooth. When you walk, you won't be hindered. When you run, you won't stumble. Hold tightly to instruction. Never let it go. It is your life. Avoid the path of the wicked. Do not follow the ways of evildoers. Steer clear of it. Continue on your way. Evildoers cannot rest until they do harm. They can't sleep until they've caused someone to fall. They thrive on wickedness and violence. The path of the righteous is like the first light of dawn, shining ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They falter, not knowing what causes them to stumble. Listen carefully, my son, to my advice. Keep your focus on my words. Never lose sight of them. Keep them in your heart. They are the key to life for those who grasp them, and they bring health to the whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for it influences all that you do. Keep your speech honest and avoid corrupt communication. Look straight ahead. Focus your gaze directly in front of you. Carefully consider the path for your feet and stay steadfast in all your ways. Do not veer off course. Keep your feet from evil. Heed my words, my son, and lend your ear to my teachings. Do not let them escape your sight. Hold them close to your heart. They are the source of life to those who find them, and they bring health to one's entire being. The verses you've shared reflect the timeless wisdom of Proverbs, highlighting the vital importance of wisdom in our lives. This biblical text urges us to guard our hearts diligently, for it influences all aspects of our lives. It advises us to speak truthfully and avoid deceit, and to maintain focus, avoiding distractions that lead us astray. Proverbs 8 exalts the excellence and eternity of wisdom. Wisdom herself calls out to humanity, 
offering guidance and insight at the crossroads and entryways of life's decisions. She appeals to everyone, encouraging the simple to gain prudence and the foolish to seek understanding. Her promises are compelling. She speaks only truth and offers advice that is just and upright. Wisdom is portrayed as more valuable than silver, gold, or rubies, emphasizing that no earthly treasure can compare to her worth. Wisdom, according to these verses, is not just a personal guide, but also a foundational principle for good governance. She claims to empower kings, rulers, and all who govern to enact just decrees. Those who love wisdom and seek her diligently are promised riches, honor, enduring wealth, and prosperity. Her fruits are said to surpass the finest gold and silver, and she walks in the paths of righteousness and justice, providing a rich inheritance to her followers. Furthermore, wisdom is described as the first of God's creations, existing from the beginning and involved in the formation of the earth. This personification of wisdom as a divine companion emphasizes her importance and the foundational role she plays in living a life aligned with divine principles. Overall, these verses from Proverbs serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of wisdom in leading a righteous and fulfilling life. My beloved child, be at peace. I am with you in every moment. If you feel overwhelmed by the trials you face, fear not, for each challenge is merely a stepping stone on your path to triumph. In my hands, your troubles are transformed, and I guide you towards victory. Lay down your fears and doubts. I speak now to strengthen your faith. To you, I offer not only love, salvation, grace, and forgiveness, but also my shoulders to bear your burdens. I have overcome the world's trials and ignited a flame within you, a spark destined to grow into a blazing beacon of hope and life. Every word from me is a steadfast stone in your life's foundation, building walls of protection around you and a roof to shelter your heart and your loved ones. In this haven, find your peace and safety. Fear not, nor give in to sorrow. Yet do not remain idle, for the adversary seeks your downfall. It is within your power to resist and stand valiant in battle. Forces of darkness will retreat before you, and the blessings you have awaited will unfurl like sails in the wind. I sent my answers to your prayers long ago, but the forces of darkness have sought to intercept them. You have done your part commendably, persevering in prayer with unwavering faith. Now you must continue. Persist in cultivating this field. Rise early and sow diligently. Wipe the sweat from your brow and do not lose heart when you witness others falter and abandon their faith. Maintain your efforts, for in my perfect timing, you will witness a bountiful harvest. Hold on to this message tightly. Whenever you feel disheartened, listen to it once more. Open your Bible, nourish your soul with the Psalms and Proverbs, and delve into the lives of my servants, the heroes of faith. These individuals, though imperfect, silenced lions and vanquished armies, none could defeat them. To some, I granted the fortitude to endure suffering and pain. They faced persecution from the world, struggled day and night, yet they never renounced me, remaining faithful until their final breaths. They stayed true to my calling. You too will not yield. You will not grant your adversaries the pleasure of seeing you defeated, those who wish to disrupt your family's harmony. Stand firm against them in my holy name and fight until the very end. They may challenge you, but they will face a severe reckoning. Do not succumb to suffering. Escape from those who harm you with their words and deeds. 
You pledged to support them through good times and bad, but they have no right to steal your future or trample your dignity. Rise up. You are of immense worth and possess precious dignity. Shield your loved ones. Turn away from violence and malevolence. Disregard the criticisms of those who do not aid you in these times of strife. Embrace these words and battle for your liberty. Do not place your hopes in people or rely on those who might let you down. Here is the truth. Many will promise you undying love, but will disappear when the storm looms, taking with them your joy and the last vestiges of hope you clung to. Do you need me to be clearer? Flee from violence for your children's sake. Escape from wickedness. Do not be afraid. I will provide all that you need, but do not follow those who would clip your wings and prevent you from soaring. I rescued you so that your future would be bright. I healed your soul to fill it with my love. I will pour peace into your heart and anoint you with supernatural joy in times of pain. The winds of this world carry pessimism and whisper negativity into your ears, but regardless of what occurs or how you feel, hold fast to the assurance my words provide. Do not fear, do not waver. Be strong and courageous. I am with you. Await me at dawn. Come into my presence with the first rays of the new day. That glow you see is my love announcing the wonderful and supernatural things I am eager to do in your life. Surrender your faith to me early, no matter how weary or troubled you are. Kneel and lay all your conflicts, anxieties, and frustrations at my feet. Today, I have spoken to you with love and revealed my heart. You have chosen to listen, to obey, and to stride toward your future with faith and determination. I assure you, you will flourish despite your current circumstances and any obstacles in your path. All will be well. I will overcome your enemies. You will raise your hands to heaven in praise and give thanks for your blessings. You will tell your family that it is worthwhile to hear, believe, and obey the word of your heavenly Father. I love you. Pay close attention to me. I have an urgent message for your heart. I truly love you. You are incredibly precious to me. Even if you stray, I will continue to love you. I will come to find you wherever you are and rescue you from the deepest pit. I want you to feel my love, a holy, beautiful, eternal emotion, so tender and profound beyond any words the universe can offer. I will never abandon you because I love you. I will always be with you because you are immensely important to me. There's no reason for me to ever break my eternal promise to hold you in my hands. I wait for you every day in my presence where you will find the strength and comfort needed to face life's challenges. No matter how daunting the mountain may appear, I am here to help you conquer it. I will give you the agility to climb to the highest spiritual peaks, strengthening your spirit. Understand this message I am giving you today. Do not compare my love with anyone else's, nor doubt your own worth because of the conflicts you face now. Do not disregard my word because of your past failures. Do not underestimate my blessings or dismiss my forgiveness. I am unchanging. I love you and will continue to love you even if others despise you, even if you were rejected, or even if those who should have loved you betrayed you. Do not make comparisons or lodge complaints against me. Both the righteous and the wicked share the same skies and traverse a world rife with trials. Those who have devotedly served and loved me have also faced hunger, beatings, betrayal, scorn, and persecution. Doubts assail you daily. They stalk you in the streets, lurk in corners, 
and hurl whatever filth they find. The adversary wants you to give up, to grow disillusioned with life, to question my love and your safeguard. He whispers that many things have not gone as you hoped. You've encountered abrupt troubles, endured abandonment and rejection, even from your own family, and found no one to stand by you or offer help unless they needed something in return. Today, I address you because I have purified your heart. I am transforming your life, and from you, I expect a faithful and heartfelt allegiance, a steadfast dedication to follow me without looking back. Accept this truth. These words are meant to impart wisdom. Indeed, you are human, and as long as you inhabit this earth, striving in your own strength will lead to failure. But remember, I am with you and will never forsake you. You do not take my holiness lightly. Sin pains you. You have never scorned my sacrifice. I see your efforts and commitment, and though you are not flawless, I will continue to love you and provide strength. I reaffirm my promise. I will never let you down. It is my privilege to establish a covenant with you, a covenant that is already in place. I offer you salvation. You are an heir to blessings that empower you with peace, patience, and love. I will open your eyes to see past disdain and to praise me when you realize how magnificent and promising your future is. Your joy starts here and now. Today, you are endowed with indomitable strength and profound faith. I ignite within your heart a purpose to live, a light to illuminate your path, the motivation to continue fighting without surrender, and the desire to assist, serve, and bless those around you. Allow me to lead you and provide wisdom for every decision you make. Trust that I will never leave you alone. I will always be by your side to support and uplift you when you falter. I am your omnipotent God, and today I command even the seas and storms to heed your voice. I grant you the authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by any means harm you. You will witness your foes fall to your right and left. All who rise against you will face shame and defeat. Please do not claim that you feel insignificant. I do not wish for you to undervalue yourself and miss out on the wonderful blessings I have for you. You say you love me and have faith. Demonstrate it by receiving these words and believing in them. Confront your challenges and prepare to triumph. Today, I envelop you in my love and imbue you with my strength. This day, I reaffirm my covenant with you. I will always be by your side. I love you and will never forsake you. Courageously write these three words with your own hand, I believe. You have asked for my blessings and I have granted them. You have cried out for health and happiness for your family. My desire is for you to prosper in all things just as your soul prospers and grows in my love. Hear me now, I bless you. In response say, I receive my blessing today. Embrace the new life I offer you. Let go of the endless battles and the sorrows that bind you. I'm giving you a new heart, one that should only know joy through my living word. There's no place for discouragement or fear. I am aiding you to relish my blessings and with each day, you grow stronger, wiser, and more prudent. Do not be weighed down by the troubles of others. Avoid partaking in harmful gossip. Steer clear of those who plot against the innocent. You can share all your feelings with me. I am your father, here to listen without judgment or criticism. There is no one better to make you feel my vast, unconditional, and unmatched love, which provides the strength to press forward and discover true happiness. My love is a sanctuary where you will find peace and calm. 
I am your protector, your guide, and your confidant. I understand that sometimes doubts and negative emotions can flood your mind, bringing back feelings of insecurity. But know that I am here to help you overcome any emotional turmoil. Stay vigilant. Do not become accustomed to living from one problem to the next, however minor they may seem, allowing issues to grow unresolved. If you truly believe in my word, this is what you must do when faced with a problem. Confront it. Speak my promises out loud. Cry out to me, and I will respond. Today, I assure you, those issues will be resolved. Persist in your faith. Keep moving forward. Resist your adversary, and he will flee from you. But remain watchful. Danger is ever-present. Pray. Immerse yourself in my word. Memorize it, and let it be inscribed in your soul. Inform your family that I wish to bless them too. Pray for them and ask them to remember me in these times. Numerous voices vie for people's attention, but those who know me recognize my voice. When I speak, they listen and understand my messages. Do not be disheartened by any rebellion or disbelief among your family members. Continue to persevere. Do your part. Pray. Love and treat them with patience and respect. I will touch their hearts, and one by one, they will open their lives to me, seeking a new beginning. Do not overlook the little ones among you. The enemy seeks to wound their tender hearts. Without your attention and guidance, the children in your family may succumb to the world's snares. However, a new generation of faithful warriors is rising in your home, ready to courageously proclaim my wonders in the times to come. It is my desire to bless them richly. Take seriously their spiritual growth, education, and the purpose I have ordained for their lives. I will pour out my Holy Spirit upon you. Some will dream dreams. Others will see visions. They will carry messages that will build up new generations. I will bestow my power upon them. They will witness miracles and signs, becoming vessels of healing and comfort for those in need. I call upon you to demonstrate my love to all who wander through darkness and are lost in life's mazes. I am stirring your heart. I'm infusing new strength into you. I will transform your mind from this day forward. Cast aside negative thoughts. Do not belittle yourself or harbor bitterness towards others. When stressful thoughts arise, do not let your mind spin tales that add to your stress. Forgive those who wrong you. Let not your tongue be tainted by gossip. I desire for your heart to be pure and unburdened so that you can be filled with my love feeling my presence day and night in any circumstance, you will find that in this way you are much stronger and more resilient against evil. Avoid those who choose to dwell in emotional turmoil. You possess a new heart. I inscribe my holy words into your soul. I cleanse your mind with the live water that flows from my throne of holiness. It is my will for you to live in complete freedom, but the choice to heed my words and obey them is yours. I long to bless you abundantly. Believe it and live it. This is reality, not fantasy. Your life is transforming. I am performing miracles within your family. Write these words with conviction. I receive my blessing. Lift your arms in a gesture of victory. Even if you feel discouraged, even if you lack the will to fight or believe that you have been defeated, regardless of how you feel, heed my command. Lift your arms now and recall that you are victorious by faith, a child of the Most High God who loves you immensely, who covers you with His grace and surrounds you with mercy. Remember the victories you have achieved in the past. You have faced seemingly invincible adversaries, fought with all your might, and emerged victorious. 
you know what it is to struggle, to tire, to fall, and to come into my presence to receive strength. You know what it is to rise and triumph once more. You have tasted victory, and now, even more so, you have every reason to confront all your challenges. Today, you wield the sword of my Holy Spirit and bear the sacred word that I am instilling in your heart. You have never been one to cower. Allow me to touch your heart and dispel the discouragement that clouds your vision. A fire is kindled within your soul, propelling you to continue fighting for your dreams and for those you love who surround you. You are not alone. You are cherished and valued. Find solace on my shoulder. Cast aside the painful thoughts that try to convince you that you are unloved, that even I have forsaken you. Know that such thoughts are false. Embrace my words and feel my warm, comforting presence at this moment.